All aboard! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the annual edition of the Call of Duty Hype Train! <sighs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm not going to keep that crazy fake Adderall hype going for this whole video. <laughs> Alright, guys. Today was the live event reveal for Call of Duty World War II. And I was fortunate enough to be able to watch the, the, the whole event from home. I was off today. It worked out perfectly. So, what I want to give you guys today is my... My thoughts and some of my reactions to what I saw when I watching the event. I will not be posting the trailer in this video. I will post a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch that. Hopefully after you watch my video, you know, feel free to stay for the whole thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so got some thoughts, got some impressions of the event. As always, if you guys agree with me or disagree with me, drop it in the comment section. Let me know why. Let's have a conversation going uh, as you guys can tell me if you're hyped or not about this next Call of Duty iteration. So, if you guys have come over from my TSG video where I talked about Sledgehammer and my thoughts on if they can make a great Call of Duty or not, uh, I, I want to add to that before I get into my reactions. One thing I did forget to mention was the fact that Advanced Warfare had one of the best campaigns that I can remember. And so, I actually am really, really hyped and excited about the campaign for World World War II. It's been a while since I played a really good World War II or World War I first person shooter. I haven't touched Battlefield 1's uh, campaign, so you know, forgive me on that part. I do have the game. But as far as the World War II, I you know, I genuinely like games from that era. I was a huge modern sorry, I was a huge Medal of Honor fan. I uh, played Company of Heroes back in the day, so I'm looking forward to it. and Sledgehammer Games has impressed me with their campaign, so I'm looking forward to that as well. So as far as some of the stuff that they showed us in the trailer and in the event. So the first thing that stands out is the fact that they show a guy with a flamethrower on his back. And my original impression was, oh my god, I hope that's not a specialist. My gut is telling me it's from the campaign, but I'm really hoping that if it's in multiplayer, it is a score streak similar to what Black Ops 2 offered us with the chain gun and with the war machine. I'm hoping that it is not a specialist ability. Uh, you know, you can't have boots on the ground and continue to have some of the silliness out there. Uh, you can't do all this hist history research, historical research, and then uh, go crazy. But whatever, we'll see. We're going to find out more information for the multiplayer come E3 in June. So I will absolutely be... Uh, be glued to the tube to watch anything I can I can find out about that when it comes around all right so yeah the flamethrower was interesting in the campaign it'll be it'll probably be fun even if it's a score streak I don't see myself using it very often because I tend to pick score streaks that will be in the air and will allow me to rush into the enemy spawn and cover my six hopefully uh, so I can keep my streak going um, so we'll see we'll see uh, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people that will use it and I have no problem shooting you from across the map <laughs> all right with that said Something else that stood out was the fact that the graphics look amazing. Oh my goodness. Between the helmet that you can tell there was condensation on the helmet, the facial expressions, the uh, the beautiful scenery, the, the effect of when the plane was flying in and they're trying to shoot it down. I know a lot of that is mostly campaign, but it, I believe them when they say it's in-game footage. Um, so, you know, I, I believe them. I'll leave it at that. I do believe them. All right. So as far as uh, the rest of the stuff, they did show a sneak peek, maybe a few seconds of something called headquarters. And it's basically like a social space. If you guys have played Destiny, it's very similar to that or even the division uh, where, you know, everybody can group up at the main base. So we'll see how Call of Duty decides to integrate that into the game. Uh, Call of Duty, you know, they've never really done anything like that, so I'm, I'm curious at how it'll go. I, I'm actually looking forward to seeing how it is. I'm hoping that if they do have vendors there, you can use in-game currency. You don't have to go out and purchase COD points, because right now, Infinite Warfare did get that right with Salvage, and I'm hoping that if they do something similar to that with WW2, that they allow you to earn it in-game. Because uh, otherwise, you know, they're, they're going to piss people off, and let's be honest, this whole call of duty franchise they should be focusing on bringing people back to the franchise bringing fans back okay so what else happened in the uh, the event you got josh domel who uh, 
I'm a bit of a fan of his because he's been in some some TV shows and some movies that I've liked in the past. <laughs> so I watched him as he cursed a few times and probably bumped the live stream up in uh, in the restriction category for Call of Duty and for uh, YouTube. I thought that was funny. And um, and so a lot of the stuff where they thought he looked like one of the characters in the poster turned out to be true. Interesting, interesting. Uh, they didn't mention anything about the special edition or any kind of collector's edition, so that's curious. They did mention that there's a, a private beta, and uh, everybody seems to be pointing towards that's going to be on PS4, but they'll probably have a public beta as well uh, if they know what's good for them. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I can't... Uh, did anything else stand out? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. As far as uh, the game goes... Um, if you guys you guys should follow Fisticuff on Twitter, follow me on Twitter too. But um, I, you know, Fisticuffs is, in my opinion, one of the Call of Duty uh, YouTube legends. And uh, a couple of days ago, he's on Twitter and he was just showing a bunch of guns and machinery and stuff that took place during World War II, and <laughs> including some jetpacks. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure they won't use those. And um, and so it's kind of interesting. So. He was showing how some of the weapons aren't going to be able to fit something like a red dot sight because red dot sights didn't exist back then. And so I'm curious about that because I do rely a lot on different optics for the game. And I and a lot of times I'm not a fan of the iron sights for the weapons. Uh, so I'm curious to how Call of Duty does that. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to go over and check out the trailer. It's going to be in the description. And I think I'll probably link Fisticuff's tweet uh, in the description as well. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you're not already subscribed feel free to come over and subscribe i would appreciate it it's your boy air of gotham signing off